WLAN standard organization. So upon completion of this course, so you are able to describe the function of WLAN standard organization. So the content here should be very short. There's only have um, seven content. So let's begin from our first one. Okay. The State Radio Regulatory um, Commissions of the People Republic of China. So the short one we call we can call as a SRC. So this is from since 1st June 1999. So this organization, um, basically what they do is they create a lot of the standard for those of the, the device or the equipment can be used also in China. So they must get the certification before they can able to use in the state. Then the next one is the F, uh, FCC stand for the Federal Communication Commission. Okay, so this is uh, one of the, the United States uh, organization. So it's already created a lot of the standard, the bandwidth, the frequency band, they can be uh, able to use in the in the stage. So including those of the China. So this is a reason why uh, in different type of the, the country, so um, they have some of the China is not able to use. And the other one is the EDSI. So the EDSI is then for uh, European Telecommunication Standard Institute. Okay, for short is EDSI. So this um, control those of the standard, the Wi-Fi bandwidth in the uh, the Europe country. And the next is IEEE. So I, I believe many people got heard about this organization before. So IEEE create many type of the standard and they create, give some of the very um, clear and easy to understand standard for us to create and the, the way the Wi-Fi is doing the modulations. Okay, for more information, you can see below here, they actually have some link by giving HTTP. Okay, and this is the, the link, okay, IEEE.org. Okay, and the next is the Wi-Fi Alliance. For short, sure, we call it as WFA. So from here, you can able to see they have many members inside the Wi-Fi Alliance. So including the Apple, the Broadcom, Cisco, Dell, Huawei, Intel, LG, Microsoft, and many others. And here there is some of the uh, certificate uh, icon. This is a logo they use for those products is already um, certified by the Wi-Fi Alliance. So this is the reason why when you look at the uh, some of the wireless product, they always come with this uh, label. Then the next is IETF. So it's a short for the Internet Engineering Task Force. So this is formed at the end of 1985. So this organi uh, organization they create a lot of the, the standard for many types of the protocols. So Wi-Fi also have many um, protocol is defined by the I, uh, IETF. Then the last one here is the Wabi. Okay, Wabi Industry Association. So this Wabi um, is one type of the um, encryption technology will be widely used in the state in the China. So as you can see, there's many companies right here, like the China Mobile, the ZTE, um, the H3C. So they're also using this, um, the Wabi to doing the security encryption for the wireless. Okay, so uh, for what we know, the uh, wireless encryption technology we have, um, WEP, WPA, and WPA2. But of course, the Wabi also uh, at the same range of them. Okay, this one we can able to provide the more secure to protect all the data transmissions. So this is a summary for all the um, organizations. Okay, the first one I did mention already. So the SRRC is used in the um, the China in the state. Then the FCC is belong to the United States. EDSI is the Euro country. IEEE also got discussed. Wi-Fi Alliance, 
IETF and the last is Wabi.